Hello everyone, my name is DJ and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler, where of course every day is a train show. Hmm, you know what? I do like that that saying I say, but to be honest with you, I think it's about time we update it, get something a little bit new. Let's see, um, I know, get in the zone, Dabbler zone. Oh, that's a good one. Let's see if something like that exists already. And crud, it does. All right, well, I got to come up with something better throughout the show. It's going to be great. But in the meantime, let's take a look at some of the brand new trains that we got here at Yankee Dabbler. And we're going to start with these Atlas ACF covered hoppers. All right, so I have these ACF 5250 covered hoppers by Atlas. And I really like these cars here. Right here, I have the Georgia Clinchfield and West Point route. This is a really cool one. I have here the Sicko Gas Company, and I really like that logo, that look there. Another gas company I have here is the Amico. Check that one out there. And again, I love that logo on there. That looks really sharp. I have here the Rocor Resins. That's neat. And finally, I have here the ACFS. Look at that saying there. Another load of polystyrene. Look at that one. That is a really cool one. That is the Cosden Oil and Chemical Company. Now, these are the Master Plus line here from Atlas. And the really neat thing about these cars here is they have an incredible amount of detail. I have die-cast metal wheels. I have metal couplers that go here. I think the Sitco one shows it best. But if you take a look at the walkways here, you can see the separately apply edge detailing there on those walkways. And these are just really great looking cars, especially if you're looking for a high quality Atlas car to go on your layout. These ACF 5250 cover hoppers might be exactly what you're looking for. Now, these ACF covered hoppers retail for $74.95. And remember, these are high quality Master Plus cars here. A lot of detailing, a lot of metal parts, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $55.99. So it is a pretty good deal to get on a car that is a very high quality. And if you get something like this on your layout, I think you're really going to be excited with the detailing on these cars. And the neat thing about this is I actually have many different row numbers for these cars. I believe I have three different row numbers for each one of these cars. So if you're looking for a whole bunch of Amico cars to go with your train, you got three different row numbers there. It's going to look awesome being pulled on your layout. So I think you definitely need these on your layout today. All right, so let's think slogans, slogans, slogans. Well, Yankee Dabbler, that's YD. So at YD, have it your way. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. You rule. Oh, man, that's a great one. Let's see if something like that exists. And Burger King. Okay, well, I'll keep trying. Well, what we're going to do now is we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite cars. The car is gone of yesteryear, but one of my favorite cars is still put at the end of my freight train. That, is, of course, we're taking a look at these Extended Vision cabooses from Atlas. Check out these guys. So we saw the N-scale version of these cars not too long ago. So here are the HO versions. Right here, I have the Rio Grande. I have my personal favorite here, the CNO. I like that, the CNO for progress written above it. I have the Burlington Northern Santa Fe with some of the windows boarded up. And then finally, I have here the NDM. So these are just really great cars. Look, I know the rail railroads don't use cabooses anymore. They all have EOT devices. But the neat thing about cabooses is I just think it adds that character, that charm on your train, especially depending on what era you got here. I just think it's a really neat car to add to the end of your consists here and if you take a look at the detailing that are on these cars here these are really high quality cars that atlas has come out with and i think you're not going to be disappointed with these cars i'm going to change that i know you won't be disappointed with these cars they do have metal couplers as well as metal wheels so i think you're really going to enjoy them if you need a caboose or four on your layout so the retail value of these cabooses is $46.95, but we're selling them here in Yankee Dabbler for $32.99. So it's a good deal to get on these cars. So you get, as I said, one or four of them on your layout. I know you're going to love them. Hmm. You're going to love it. ba 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 I'm loving it. Oh, that's a good one. Maybe we should do that. And dang it. This is hard, I thought. 
Some of you might be looking for some containers to put on your Husky stacks or your flat cars. Well, I have a whole bunch of from Atherin for your consideration. If you check these out, these are three pack, 40 foot container low cube packs from Atherin. If you take a look, look at all the detailing that's happening there. I don't want to take these out of the box for obvious reasons here, but these are just incredibly detailed containers to put on your Rarid. And I think you're really going to love these. So I got the Hanjin happening here. I have here the Overseas Container Limited. It's a pretty cool looking one. I have here the Beacon. I gotta say for a second, I thought that said bacon. Got the beacons happening here. I got the Yang Min line. Looks cool. I have here the Ned Lloyd. Or the Need Lloyd. Comment below, let me know which one of those. And finally, I have the K line. Look at that one, that one looks great too. Love all the detail. I mean, just take a look at that detailing on that. That is ridiculous. The amount of detailing that goes on there. Let's check out the bottom as well. Not as much detailing there, but you don't see the bottom. So these are really great looking container car uh, containers to put on your well cars, your flat cars, or your Husky stacks, or whatever you're looking for. The retail value of these three packs is $39.99, but we're selling here Yankee Dabbler for $31.99. As a great deal to get on these uh, containers, so you can get a whole bunch of them. You can mix them up, put them on your railroad, and I think it'll look really cool. You know what? I think you just need to get it. You know what? Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Oh, man, that's a good one. Yeah, Yankee Dabbler, just do it. Let's see. And come on, Nike. All right, slogan, slogan, slogans, let's say. I know, Yankee Dabbler, we got the trains. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, Yankee Dabbler, we got the trains. All right, speaking of trains, I have these brand new Ather and SD40s, these are part of the Ready the Roll series. And I have a whole bunch of these. I don't want to take them out of the box, and the reason being is because they do have the seal of quality here. So I do not want to puncture the magic seal that Atherin has given us here. But I do have these SD40-2s ready to roll, and these are really great engines. These are very economical engines. If you're looking for a rather inexpensive but very high quality piece to put on your railroad, these do have soundtrack economy decoders inside of them, and they are awesome looking paint jobs. And I have five different ones that I want to show you, so let's check them out. All right, so I gotta try not to get a glare on these here. So I have a couple of different versions. This is the Electromotive Division. This is Electromotive Leasing there, if you can check that one out there. Then I have here the Santa Fe. If you want to see what the actual picture here is, check that out. That's what that looks like there. Then I have here the Kansas City Southern. It's a cool one there. I'll check out that look as well. Kansas City Southern. Then I have here the Chessie. And then finally, I have this High Hood. Norfolk Southern, and I really like this look here. This is a really cool one if you are a Norfolk Southern fan looking for a high hood SD40. That is a really great looking diesel locomotive. So the retail value of these diesel locomotives is $259.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $207.99. Anytime you get a diesel locomotive for around $200, I think you're doing a really good thing there. I mean, these are very economical, but they're very nicely detailed. They are awesome quality Athens diesel locomotives, and I know you're really going to enjoy them. I have a couple of different variations here, and I think you definitely need them pulling trains on your layout today. So as I said here, Yankee Dabbler! We got the trains! Haha, <laughs> that's a good one. Let's just double check. Arby's. Come on, man. This is just ridiculous. I mean. Oh, why is this so difficult? Okay, okay, let's think. Let's think. Um, well, we sell trains here. You have a layout. Yankee Dabbler, what's in your layout? Ha! There you go. We figured it out. Yankee Dabbler. What's in your layout? <laughs> eh, Capital One. Of course, it had to be something. Well, anyway, what we have here is another diesel locomotive that we're going to be showing you here. And this is from Atlas. And it is a U-2500. 
28C. I'm excited to look at these engines, and I hope you are too. All right, so these are the U28Cs from Atlas here, and I have a couple of different route names to choose from here. I got the Union Pacific. I got a very famous color here, the Conrail. Love me some Conrail blue. I have here the Pennsylvania. I like that Brunswick green color there. I have here the Southern Pacific in the gray and red paint scheme. And then I have two different Santa Fe's. One, I have the classic war bonnet paint scheme with the silver and red with the yellow. And then I have here the freight scheme in the blue and yellow. Now, again, the neat thing about these engines is I have some road specific detailing happening here. For example, if you take a look at this Santa Fe, you can notice that I have the horns above the uh, top of the cab there. Or if you take a look at the Southern Pacific, you're going to notice I have the horns in back of the cab. And I have kind of a Mars light in the middle there. Then here I have the horn all the way back here. But no extra light. So, I mean, this is really neat, the detailing that they do on these engines here. As a matter of fact, I think this Union Pacific has a little detailing here. It has a little beacon up top here. Atlas does a great job with the different detailings for these diesel locomotives here. And you get with some... Kind of road specific detailing i always think that's a good thing so i really like the look of those santa fe's and i think i'm gonna run the war bonnet paint scheme because that's a very striking and very classic color scheme so let's hear what it sounds like all aboard we got the santa fe on the check number 357 let's start it up shall we The sequence there. I love the different uh, warning lights that I have in the front there because you see they are pulsating. I have light up number boards here as well as the headlights, of course. Let's hear what the horn sounds like. The bell. All right, let's start it up, shall we? All aboard. Now arriving on track number one, train 357, the Yankee Dabbler Quicker Picker Upper. Hey, that could work. Found it. God dang it. So I think this is a really neat diesel locomotive to have. I had a lot of fun with this one. As a matter of fact, it even has people driving or operating the engine from the inside. So I think this is a really neat engine to have on your layout. Now, these do have ESU sound, so that is a really nice item to have on our Atlas diesel locomotives here. They retail for $299.95, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler 
for two hundred nine ninety five. So it's a great deal to get on a great diesel locomotive, and I think you need a couple of different engines to be operating on your layout. As a matter of fact, I have a couple of different road numbers for each one of these engines. So if I want to get two or three of them and pull trains on your railroad, you can totally do that because here we got them all for you. So come in Yankee Dabbler and get them today. All right, let's do a little recap of everything we saw today. We had from Atlas these U28Cs. We also have from Atlas these ACF covered hoppers. And once again from Atlas, we also had these extended vision cabooses. I really enjoy those. From the Athens department here, we had these SD40-2s. And I had a couple different row names here for the Ready of the Roll series. And then, of course, I had these 40-foot container load cubes that you could add to your railroad empire. But, of course, if you're looking for something that you didn't see on today's show, make sure you click on our website, yankeedabbler.com, and get caught up on all the latest new products that we have that we're updating on our website continuously every single day. As a matter of fact, we just got a whole bunch of shipment of stuff upstairs that we literally are trying to find space to put all this stuff. We have so much stuff. So do us a favor. If there's something that you haven't seen yet, because we got to unpack it, so it might take us a little while to get on the show. If there's something that you think is out, go on our website, type what you're looking for, buy it, so we can get it out of our store and get it to your land so you can have fun. You're helping us out. It, it, it helps both ways. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. You know how that works, all right? So make sure you click on our website, yankeedabbler.com, and see all the new products that we have on our website. If you're not already clicked the Engineer Hall's channel or subscribe, rather, make sure you click that subscribe button and get caught up with all the latest and greatest new videos that we have. We are so close, so close to 4,000 subscribers. And if we hit 4,000 subscribers, Engineer Hall and I are going to do one of the following. We're either A, I'm going to take everyone, all 4,000 subscribers to Cancun, and we're going to have drinks, watch the sun uh, set on the beach. It's going to be awesome. We'll do nothing but talk about trains. B, we'll either rent out a scenic railway, like the Grand Canyon Scenic Railway. We'll take the steam engine to the Grand Canyon. We'll see the sunrise. And once again, we'll have drinks. We'll eat. We'll talk nothing about trains. And one of the most uh, beautiful places on earth. Or C, we'll do a video that says we got the 4,000 subscribers. One of those things has got to happen. If you want to find out, make sure you click subscribe so we get the 4,000. We're going to conclude today's video with a rail fan video going to the Northeast Corridor to see some Amtrak trains going down the line. As a matter of fact, I saw a very interesting thing the other day where some scenic equipment was going from Philadelphia to New York City. And I think you're really going to enjoy seeing that Amtrak move on the line. Now, if you excuse me, I did not come up with another slogan, so I guess we're stuck with every day is a train show. But I'm going to keep thinking. Let's see. Got trains? No, that's got milk. Dang it. Uh, All right. Plot, plot, fit. No, that's a stupid. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got I to think. I, where's the trains? No, that's where's the beef. Okay. Um, okay. I, I, I can think of something. Um, Yankee Dabbler, you're going places. No, that's not it. Zoom, zoom. No, that's stupid, too.
Once you dabbler the fun don't stow oh, that's Pringles. Uh it's not easy being training. Oh, that's Cheetos. Um uh, how many licks does it take to... Oh, that's a stupid. I knew that was stupid from the beginning. What am I thinking? I'm tired.